Hello guys, Chris94 Nord here and welcome to Northern Scandinavia map for Euro Turk Simulator 2. We are here in Boda and let's put on the map. We are here in Boda and uh, we are going to drive to Tvallande. This is uh, currently in uh, beta stage and this is for your third simulator 2 patch 1.27 It's currently a work in progress um, currently working on uh, rebuilding some areas For example, this is the border to none which goes from to the city to Hunsamoen uh, and then we are actually going to drive yep we are as I said we are going to drive to uh, this area here and uh, yep park our trailer then um, I'm going to show you what's currently it's way for example I made one area here it's gonna be another company another delivery company here in Fuske and then I have um, redone some sceneries and other stuff in this road here and also we're going down here to uh, then I have expanded the uh, and done some more scenery works on uh, Rockland and then on the road around here and added another new road which goes uh, outside of the main road of ASX. Then it goes to the, uh, some small villages around from Rutland to Nornes, then we have uh, Russones. And of course the next area after Russones will be Storjord and uh, further on to the to the Norway-Sweden border which, which goes on the uh, Ritzway uh, 77, which um, it's called uh, Silvervedien. Yes. Then also, I'm planning to expand the area from uh, from first day, expanding the ASX road, which will be going to a place called Strömen, which will be going to not, uh, up to Nordvik. So uh, let's get going, and then I'm going to show around the um, around the map, around the border area, and some other stuff. So I'm gonna drive this trailer here with the uh, empty pallets from this area, which is actually this area is actually uh, city north, but I don't actually have a model of it but uh, yeah so let's uh, fire up the truck here as you see here it's um, an uh, SB uh, SB skin which I'm using it's SB, SB transport which actually is made of uh, one of our assets uh, developers so they actually will they are, they are actually taking full credit of this so one of your assets developers have you in this video just let me know so it's a, it's a basic design but uh, they even have um, even have uh, trailers 
DSP transport even have trailers, which is also on the yeah on the uh, same design actually with the logo and everything. Also, SP transport is also buses. SP transport is a local company, which is uh, here in Boda. Now we're gonna drive. This area is actually called uh, Stormira. Yeah, it's uh, Stormira. So now we're gonna drive. So you see, I actually use in my G27 racing wheel, which is actually good when you are actually driving these kind of games. I think uh, we are maybe gonna take a left here. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the next version, which will be, it uh, will be called uh, version 0.995. So I'm working on more to version 1.0. Which will eventually come later, soon on. I plan to expand all of the northern Norway and uh, also in northern Sweden, which is why it's called northern Scandinavia. But uh, we have actually made some changes on the name, so we actually call just Scandinavia Mod, which also is on the form ScandinaviaMod.com. We are now driving on uh, the um, street, this is called uh, Hologlandsgata, which actually goes here. So now we come to an area where one of, uh, one of the major rebuilds, which is actually ongoing in Boda, which will be a bridge connected to Hologlandsgata. It will be a bridge going over the road. There will be a new, a new connection here. We just another roundabout, which is actually not here now, but it will eventually come. So yeah, so we build some workers here. Also, we are now coming to here, which is um, there's also some rebuilds ongoing here too. Yes. So um, one of the reasons why I'm uh, talking in uh, English is uh, because um, I have international viewers, so it's much easier for everyone to just understand what I'm saying instead of just talking which all the time I can actually try to speak um, so I can give you an example example in my dialect Hej allesammen och välkommen till uh, uh, Nordskandinavia mod she said, hello everybody, hello everybody, welcome to the Northern Scandinavia mod. Just, yeah, just an example of... It's um, one of the dialects which they speak here in uh, Norland. So now we are actually coming to the downtown area of... You have the... Um, train tracks going here. This is next to the train station in Boda, which is the last place. Uh, this is where the, the train ends in the north. Uh, 
because they have not expanded. Um, the I uh, think it was maybe after the second. I don't know if it was after the second world war. I don't know if the after the German occupation of Norway, I don't know if there was a planning of expanding, I don't know if there was actually a plan of expanding the train tracks further north, but there's no plans for that. This is the new Hurtigruten port. It was over, it was over there somewhere before, but now it's moved to here. This is the fair line route, which actually goes to the Lofoten region and also to the islands uh, Vare and Rust. So, this is just to show you a bit. So, we actually will turn around here and just go back. Just I need to make this delivery. I think uh, we can maybe just drive to the downtown area maybe. Maybe if uh, some of you guys uh, will uh, fancy that. That's as you hear, I'm um, actually not speaking entirely English, but oops, oh, oh, oh. that's close. And it's forty speed limit here. It is actually that in real life, 40. Um, yeah, I think uh, Buddha is actually one of. It is a beautiful city, but some can just agree to disagree on that subject. Subject, but uh, well, of course, the city is under development, so uh, actually, we can set the sat nav to another area. Look at that, going around here, and drive here. Maybe I will show this area actually. Actually, I'm going to do that just there. Then we are going here, going to this area, and then we are going to it. Oh, then we are traveling down to it. Well, as I said, the, the city is currently in development, it's working, it's actually expanding. Uh, there is planned to at least have. Uh, it was just uh, I think around uh, one and a half years ago, the um, the city surpassed uh, fifty thousand citizens. But the city is planning to expand even more, maybe adding another twenty, thirty thousand citizens. That will be after the. Uh, the airport has been moved, which is currently in planning. The city is going to be, uh, as I said, here you have the massive hotel, which is called Skandikava. Not the exact model of it, but it's on the same location. As I said about the airport, uh, where the area, where the airport is now, 
uh, the entire the entire area is is uh, going to be a whole new city district. Yeah, the whole airport is going to be moved, even the terminal, and even the um, the runway. It's going to be another added another runway, and that's that goes to the same to the um, military runway. Because I believe has actually high. Uh, Buda currently has now high uh, high uh, military activity, so it has uh, an own runway here in Buda. But um, that, of course, is changing because uh, well, the military is currently being moved south, so uh, the uh, company called Avinor is uh, taking over that um, runway I think uh, that runway is gonna be uh, I think it's gonna be um, made I think it's actually gonna be made it's gonna be integrated to the new airport so I think uh, it will be a new uh, I think that's gonna be the taxi runway for the new Buda airport which is gonna be just around there somewhere so I've seen some of the plans. They are actually also planning to build a subway. I mean, you know, of course, a metro. So it's going to be a metro station connected to the airport. So that means expanding a bit from the train station in Boda. I think uh, possibly going to be going a tunnel under there. I think. Not sure about not sure about that. Now we're coming back. Now we're coming back to soon to the uh, Stormida again. So uh, there we have many more companies. It's not of this. Uh, First, when I released this map, there was nothing here before, but barely nothing. Now it's full of industrial companies. It's, uh, this is actually one of the major rebuilds I've done, which is not entirely new, but it's new. Uh, now we're coming up to the um, uh, Bode Luftfartsmuseum, which is yeah, the Bode Air, the Air Museum. It has a lot of great history, but, um, warplanes from the, the World War, and uh, then we have uh, the planes they are exhibit exhibiting outside the uh, Air Museum. And it's the, they also have uh, same with that uh, that uh, air tower that's also there. And it's an air station over there somewhere. Here you see some of the rebuilds I've done. For example, this sidewalk. Um, Underground is goes under this bridge, this is, which is actually also new. It also includes this. This is actually on the right here. We have the the fire station for Bodem, which is also new because it was in downtown before. Then so they move to here. Then you have there is city node again. And of course, this road was before just a single lane road, but it has expanded to they have expanded it to a four lane road. 
This is gonna be connected to uh, it's, uh, to the uh, to the road cross here, which is also gonna be uh, changed. So it's, it's gonna be changed to two roundabouts. This guy is stopping here. What is he waiting for? Just maybe. Okay, it seems like a lot of traffic behind us. Okay, if he can't move, I'm moving. As I said, uh, this uh, road cross here is going to be changed to two roundabouts. Which is also be connected to the uh, to the tunnel, which is currently in rebuild, uh, currently in construction. Uh, Bode uh, uh, tunnel in Bode is going to be opened next year, around the summer, or at least the one. Uh, the tunnel is actually two tubes, so it's two tunnel tubes. So. Uh, only an in and out of the city and of course speed limit is 80 which is currently the, today's road is just speed limit of 60 it's also gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of change but uh, only one tube the tunnel tube will be open first and then just uh, six months roughly six months later another tunnel tube is gonna be opened I am going to show here. I'm actually going to drive first over here. I'm just going to show you. Show some bits. As you see there, you see some aircrafts. You see some aircrafts there. Yeah, as I see there's a roadblock here. And that is because well this is well this is a military station. Some guards standing here. show you the tunnel entrance which is uh, going out of the city but well, I can't drive in there because uh, well the tunnel tunnel actually ends somewhere inside there this uh, shows how far they have come now, how far they have expanded the tunnel. So they are actually very close to coming out here, out of here in some one. And they, uh, they don't have maybe just, maybe they have not more than, uh, no more than one and a half kilom kilometers. Yeah, 1,500 meters. 
there's no further now until the tunnel is completed and then it's well, basically just finishing the tunnel up doing just some uh, so we're building the uh, protective walls around the, yeah, ton the tunnel walls and everything. And then of course finishing the, old, the entire road. Which is going to be connected if you saw that bridge we saw there. That bridge is going down to here. Actually going uh, on the flat land over here and it's going yeah, connected right to the round. And also there's actually one single lane construction bridge there, which is going to be connected to this single lane road. And it's actually going to be around there on the tunnel roof. They have a lot of work to do here. Yeah, they have a lot of work here to do. Still, 2017. And uh, they have at least, uh, I think at least maybe two years in planning still. And, well, there's a lot of other... A lot of other things, well, rebuilds and everything they are doing. It's just insane how much they are working on this city. So now we are actually going to drive out of the city and going towards Tvallane. Oh for God's sake. Been a bit actually 60, but um, I have not got in hold of a 60 speed limit uh, sign yet to set out. So maybe that will come later on. Not sure how difficult it is to uh, actually. Um, to just uh, change another sign, just for example add a new template on it, but I don't know how difficult that is. So as you see we have uh, 13 kilometers to Tallane. It's actually not that far. It's about um, it's about two mil, at uh, twenty kilometers from uh, from from Salström and to Bodum. Well, well, th that distance is being uh, shortened, at least when the tunnel is opening. It's going to be a bit shorter, and this road is going to be a lot quieter. This road is actually in real life, uh, it's actually a 1 plus 2 road. Actually, I don't know, it's a 3 lane road system, so it's a change, it's a lane changing road, actually, in real life. But I don't have a model of it. At least it's not even in the game game. So uh, it's, uh, the lane lanes are changing based on the rush hour on the roads. But it's still just At least I can say it's a, it's a total disaster, it's a total mayhem. 
because even today it's causing a lot of traffic jams and I've known about that now we all have long long known along one example I can give it was actually like that when um, when they started on the tunnel construction on the east side of the city that was well that was all the way back all the way back to the city and far out far out here of the city it was well Here. This is also one of this is just some minor minor scenery rebuilds I've done for the map. Example this is well, let's see. This is a plane coming overhead there. This is actually like in real life too. Plane. We have train trucks going past here. We're coming soon now to um, to the tunnel construction on the east side. Design. This roundabout is actually here already. Then we have Hunstamo and Tallet is a new road and tunnel construction opens uh, summer Tunnel entrance. Oh, that's a lot of traffic there. I see. How far out is it? Possibly because of that truck is going so damn slow. So rebuilt this entire road going up there. It was going up like that before, but when I actually started to build a tunnel, they had to just redone the entire road, and just and then they expanded down up to that uh, roundabout, which is well, which we passed earlier. Building, they're also building this wall here. Then it's going, it's going to be a, a new road connected there. For example, if those who want to drive, to, we have to drive on a three-lane road when a tunnel opens. Instead of driving to the tunnels, for example, if someone is going to the other areas which we passed on a three-lane road, if they want to just get to there. Instead of taking a tunnel, they can just take on the It's actually they're currently building an off ramp there. So that's it's uh, gonna be very nice. They're also building this small here. Actually, not building. It's not new, but well, because it was this broke broke out a fire here before. 
in this mall here and uh, they just had to it damaged the uh, well as you know it damaged the, uh, the, the total architectural design on the building that they had to just demolish it and build a new one they're trying to build a bigger one now I think it's going to be open it's actually going to be open this year Now we're coming to the end of the fall of the four lane road. This road from Hunsamon is actually a four lane road and then from Hunsamon it's actually a three lane road. But now the four lane road ends and it is just a single lane road. Stop here. So I'm going to, I should want to show you guys something uh, which I've also added to the map. It's, uh, if you remember the truck dealers, remember the truck dealer was here on Bucknes, which actually was, it's a Renault truck dealer. I actually changed it back to a Volvo truck dealer, so the Renault dealer where the Volvo dealer was before, for example on the Bode airport area so I moved that Renault dealer to there so now it's only Volvo here but both Volvo and Renault are here too so now we're coming into Bertness that was wrong This is uh, one of the suburbs to the border, border city. But uh, now we're soon coming out of the of the suburbs, and then and eventually till we are approaching approaching uh, Tvallane. This place they call uh, Orson. Then we're coming to a place soon which is called the Valle. I'm also going to show you guys in another video which will be eventually in uh, to Saltdal and the areas around there. I'm going to show you guys that in a later video. And of course, I am. We all, on this, on behalf of 
us on the Scandinavia mod team. We are welcoming any new members. If you want to be a beta tester, if you want to be a, one of the developers, if you have interest in developing, it's Uh, if you want it, it's of course. And of course, it's for free, but it's of course beneficial that you have uh, your first simulator and your first simulator too, and the uh, DLC Scandinavia. This also goes to. And of course, if you want to be an assets developer, for example, if you want to join the assets developer team, we currently have two in position there now, which is currently making skins for trailers and skunt and trailers, for trailers and trucks. I mean, and for example, for one of that is this skin here, and some of the some other skins too, which we are also currently. Uh, in discussion of uh, importing uh, real life companies. It's 80 down the road there. Yeah, on behalf of the well we hope you Also, if you if you are a four member, we are more than you are welcome on our Discord server. You also can uh, see what we have in plan. We are gonna park up the trailer here. Let's see, where am I going to park? Right here, of course. This is difficult to see. What does. I could change that one. What the hell has changed? So the I want no R3 and I don't like the R3. It's terrible. And then R1 then. bit alright alright uh, guys uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and I uh, hope you guys see you soon yeah uh, let's take that on Norwegian too 
uh, ja, tack till alla som har uh, sett på den i videon. Då uh, ska vi till uh, av uh, Norrstrand där vi jobbar av uh, version 0995. Som är den är i folk den är fortsatt i uh, beta version. Så ja. Det var snyggt currently as I said it's the version is uh, in uh, beta stage. So it will eventually come uh, sooner or later because there's a big plan ahead for version 0.995 and that also includes the expanding of yeah, it also includes the expanding, expanding of uh, Lofoten area, the E10 road to uh, Lechnes and uh, I think uh, Lechnes and uh, to Svalvar from the Spanat Road too and also the Essex Road from Fauske to uh, it's uh, it's uh, going to be expanded to uh, I think maybe uh, it's a uh, it's a it's a place called Strömmen which is is a bit further north from first game and eventually uh, it's going to be a spanner for the north to Narvik and of course then I'm going to span the ESX road which goes to Storjord then you have a road uh, from there the rich the RV 77 this um, yeah sandwich road uh, going from uh, well, which way 77 is going from uh, what was it from? It's from uh, from Storjord and then it goes over to the border to Sweden and then it's going across from there over to uh, all the way to Skellefteå. That road is also going to be made but further later and also guys if you saw the pre previous video I'm uh, going to uh, eventually begin, begin uh, live uh, streaming on my twitch channel which will, will be later on uh, some of will be not only live streaming the Scandinavia mod map I will also be here live streaming for example on the map I was yesterday the uh, pro mods map I will also be will also be expanding will also be live streaming from that map too and uh, maybe possibly some other games too eventually so um I hope you guys enjoy that and uh, thank you for watching. Happy turkey guys.